Hi everyone, as you may know I'm working on a new KCAD book uh, and KCAD 5 came out recently and in this quick video I wanted to show you one of the PCBs that come out of one of the projects in this book and this PCB is a simple breadboard power supply something very useful for people interested in uh, Arduino electronics uh, so um, you can find breadboard power supplies like that in the market but I thought that as a project I might uh, as well make one myself. So the nice or interesting actually aspect of this particular PCB is its dimensions and in this project I wanted to match the PCB to the mini breadboard so that its pin where the, the power is coming out of properly interfaces and matches the uh, mini breadboard's power rails. So I received the uh, PCBs manufactured from Oshpark yesterday. It's the first version and I now want to test and make sure that its dimensions are appropriate and perfect for this PCB. So let's try it out. I'm going to plug in the headers say around here on one side and here on the other side of course normally a breadboard power supply PCB uh, you'd plug it in at the edge of the breadboard so you leave enough space for the various components but for the sake of this testing this is just fine and I'll try to connect or plug in the pads on the pins there you go so this actually fits perfectly and that's my first attempt so I took a lot of care to do the measurements on the breadboard properly and then to carry those measurements over to the over to PCB news I was doing the layout taking care to make sure that any tolerances are all incorporated and that the final PCB matches the thing on which I want the PCB to connect to so of course then uh, this could be something else like it could be a different PCB that I'd like to make it fit precisely in a uh, project box or something like that and um, in the book I'm going to show you how to take measurements for the external thing to which you'd like to interface your PCB how to take those measurements and incorporate them into PCB new and the layout and come up with a result like this so now that I know that the dimensions are perfect I'm going to make sure that these pads in the edges of the PCB are fixed on the PCB so even if I move other components around for, for example for a version 2 or for an SMD version the, mm -hmm. uh, the pads fit exactly with the dimensions of the mini breadboard and I'm going to do a little bit more testing um, after I attach the other components like I've got the uh, battle connector that will go right here and that also looks good perhaps I could have done the the pads here a little bit smaller but there's plenty of space here for a good load of uh, solder to keep that in place and that fits actually quite nicely there and I'll let the rest of the components and see how it works so that's a quick preview of one of the projects.